cheese. Buying something. I'm overriding this character for the same thing. That's all I'm doing. Is just what I'm doing. Alright, man. Well, no efficient leveling. I was born. Padding our attributes by <clears throat> for 65 using what the game years, gives you. Ruled as Tamriel's we'll emperor. Legitimately but for you. all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. Not sure exactly what we can play yet. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the I like how you can hear the wind right there. Seed. I always like that. The year of Akatosh, Just a little 433. Detail, you know? These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. attention to some things there's some things that there's some skills that you just need to have if you stay level level two at level 10 you're just going to get destroyed that's just not i'm just not padding any attributes as far as that goes but like at some point you need to practice things just to get good at them i mean you know it's just obvious just have to. Max difficulty forces you to, really. The, the game says, here's the tools. If you choose not to use them and you get beat up, well, that's your fault. You know? Let's see. Uh, what are we playing? I'm either going to go with a mage or more of a stealthy type. That's an Elder Scrolls game. No matter what you do, you're going to wind up sneaking anyway, regardless. Everyone's the sneaky type, right? Water and are good at picking locks. <laughs> so let's see, what, what does it say about Khajiit? All Khajiit can see in the dark. <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna go 
or it's a Breton. Either way, whether I play a major or a... I play a major or not.
took some of the glow away, didn't it? Did I keep the other one? No. Uh -uh. No, I don't know. I don't ever do that. I don't start something new. Well, I do sometimes. But not in this case.
It was in there somewhere. Snotty expression. You're a Breton. The masters of magicka, right? Hmm. You're nothing but a stuck-up harlot with cheap parlor tricks. <laughs> Go ahead. Try your magicka in here. Let's see you make those bars disappear. No? What's the matter? Not so powerful now, are you, Breton? You're not leaving this prison till they throw your body in the lake. You're going to die in here, Breton. You're going to die. Hey, you hear that? The guards yeah. are coming. <laughs> For you. <laughs> Bora, lock that door behind us. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Uh, usual mix up with the watch. I, I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Watch out, I got bees. Stay put, Good. prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. This is the day. Gods give me strength. Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. And my AC went out today, Please, huh? sire, we must keep moving. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to know this one, this one. Yeah. There's no way to get the other side. 86, 86, 87 in the house. I'm watch yeah. of our way. I don't keep my thermostat near that high, so it's got more than noticeable. It's more the humidity than anything. The heat, I can deal with that, but... Close up left. The Protect the Emperor. Protect yourself. The captain's down. <laughs> My sword! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help.
don't know how I want to roll, man. I don't mind doing some dirty word for a Daedric Lord. I can think of a couple Daedric Lords that would have you do some dirty words. So using that. Could use that right friggin' now, actually. Yeah, fuck. <clears throat> Let's make a decision here. Run around all sneaky like with a dagger, or run around. Yeah, someone brought up the point being playing a mage. Um of course you're using a staff, right? And the staff tends to like to free fire. Like, you press the trigger once and that bitch just goes off like an SMG and burns up like half your charges. Or shoots an ally. You know, you're sitting here doing this and your staff just sprays down the whole map. You know, you're just trying to shoot a rat and your staff fucking shoots a guard over here and the emperor over there and two rats and fucking somebody behind you and hits your summons three times and you only shot it once, you know? It's a little annoying. Could they be waiting for us here? I don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, son. We will get you out of here. They... Sneaky with the dagger. Well, you have to use the staff. On max difficulty, you, you almost have to. Unless you're using a weapon. If you're using a weapon, it doesn't matter. But, I mean, if you're sticking to pure magic, um, then you're just not going to have a mana to cast the spells. You, you're, just, you're just not. You're not, yeah, not going to kill anything. You're just not going to have the magic to do it. Not early on. I'm at some point in the game when everybody's casting magic at you and you can absorb all of it and keep your magic pool full. Okay. You know, that's that's something. But, you know, if you're going to have a summons and then you're going to try to debuff your enemy to where you can even... You can cast a 40-point fireball at an enemy and only do six damage. Five damage. Sorry, man. You're going to have to hit them with like 15 of those. Do you know how much magic it takes to cast 15 40-point fireballs? Like, 1,800, 2,400 Magicka? I mean, you're just, you're just not going to have it. Not early on, anyway. So. Won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow.
going all right. through all these tutorials just so tutorial about when you see this come up it's a tutorial okay so now here's your tutorial okay now <laughs> like come on man <laughs> give me a break over here. Oh, shouldn't it have done that? doesn't really matter. Doesn't even matter. I used to try to pick this lock, but I'm like, one tumbler? Yeah, that's really going to make or break my game. Man, um... That's what I was just sitting there thinking about. hear that? You guys hear that? Well, I'm not going heavy armor, I know that. I don't know if I'm gonna, I want to do light armor, no armor. Uh, if I'm going to do a mage, it's no armor. If I'm going to do an assassin sneaky type, light armor looks cool because I just like the uh, Dark Brotherhood set. I think I want to wear that one this time around, the Dark Brotherhood set. At least at some point. No, there's no mod support for Oblivion on Xbox.
I still haven't forgiven your cousins, you little shit. No mercy for the rats. Ever. Yeah, you nasty little shit. I know you're in here. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. I wouldn't even bother. What a waste of fucking time. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Shame, man. Shouldn't have died right there. I, I, I shouldn't have. My fault, but I really thought I could finish off the last one hit point, hitting him 13 times with the dagger. I really thought it would allow that one hit point to tick and not keep it from ticking just to kill me, just to take my progress away. I really didn't think the game was going to do that right there. I really didn't. I'll say my fault, but, you know... the other rat with three fireballs it hit him nine times the dagger it didn't kill him it hit this one with three fireballs punch him one time and it kills him it didn't keep that one hit point from ticking for 300 more strikes to allow him to hit me five times and kill me you see the discrepancy there just just kind of throwing that out there that's that's just that's just ridiculously bad yeah that's just bad 
I don't think you should give enemies invincibility so that no matter how much you hurt them, they can, they can live long enough to kill you regardless because they have a set number of times they've hit you no matter how you play the game. That just doesn't seem fair to me. Just saying. That doesn't really seem fair to me, man. Atronach sign? It's Atronach sign is actually really good. Um, it's tedious making a lot of magicka potions early in the game. It's just tedious. It's a lot of work. You know what I mean? It's just work. It's probably my favorite sign, to be honest. Like if I'm if I'm playing just a, just a straight mage. I'll go with the Atronach sign every time. Let's, uh... See, there's kind of a build I kind of like. I say build. There's some things I kind of like to try in Skyrim also. So I'm thinking, you know, if I play, I finish a character here, it'd be kind of cool to go play that same character, that same style in Skyrim. Having magic at your disposal and the dagger are the two strongest things in the game, really. I mean, I think the most fun is a two-handed sword, personally. That's what I think is the most fun. But as far as just strong... Um, daggers with sneak attacks, obviously. And, you know, once you get a decent enchantment on daggers, you can just duel with them. You can fight with them. You know, they don't just have to be for sneaking. Yeah, they don't do as much damage as swords and axes and this and that. They're fast. And uh, they proc a lot of hits, you know, so... And then, on top of that, the whole sneak attack thing. And then magic can kind of work the same way. You know, like an ice spike with silent casting from sneak with, you know, a destruction potion to, you know, damn near double the damage on that thing, that's not bad. It may, It's not dagger damage, but it's something. You, you fucking slap somebody from sneak with a goddamn fireball to the face or a group of enemies with a fireball to the face after a nice destruction potion, nice good solid sneak skill, silent casting, and all that other stuff, it's later game. You know, you're not gonna ha you're not going to start the game with all that stuff, but... I mean, it's viable. It's better than a bow, really. Well, I don't know. Bows can be pretty goddamn strong. But... You know, I just, you know, just kind of putting that out there. I was thinking about um, carrying it over the same type of thing. You, you obviously can't make a character in, in Skyrim anything like you can in Oblivion. But uh, it'd still be kind of cool. See, armor affects magic in Oblivion. Armor doesn't affect magic in Skyrim. doesn't matter. You can wear heavy armor and be a mage just as well as clothing. In Oblivion, um, armor affects magic pretty severely. Like here, look. Like, see where it says my spell effectiveness down at the bottom? 100%? 100%? Whatever I do is going to affect 100%. I'm not going to hit for 80 damage out of 100 or... And I'm not going to hit only 80% of the time. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit for 100, 100% of the time. You know, so if you know my flare is supposed to do 14 damage, 
Uh, actually, it doesn't. I think it only does like six. My flare is supposed to be, do six damage. It's going to do six damage. It's not going to do six damage only a certain percent of the time, and it's not going to do only five damage or anything like that. Now, watch. I'll put on uh, anything. Here. There you go. Let's put on some armor. Now, spell effectiveness just dropped 20% just from putting on a couple pieces. If I had a full set of just light armor on, it would be down to about, I think, I think it drops down to about 74. I think it can get down into the 60s if you're wearing a full set of heavy armor. I believe it can get down into the 60s. Two-thirds of the time, your spells only work, or they're only two-thirds effective. That's garbage. So, you actually have to pay attention in Oblivion. Uh, they... They reduce the need to pay any attention to your character whatsoever in Skyrim, but... change weapons while attacking. A, I'm not attacking. B, I'm trying to change armor. What the fuck that's about. I kind of want to I kind of want to mess around with the Dark Brotherhood armor cuz I just think it looks cool. So I don't know. We get, we get, we're going to have to decide by the time we get to, to Boris. We're going to at least have to decide by then. Windhelm to Riften? Uh, yeah, I chased one down the coast. From Windhelm all the way to the coast, which is, I think, what, to the east, right? All the way to the coast and then down to, I don't even know where. I want to say it was down to the coast or down along a river. But I think it was all the way to the coast. That was just for fucking ever. I mean, yeah.
There's two more rats down here? This place is fucking infested. Isn't it? Fucking infested. God damn! What, was there always three down here? No, three more? So that makes seven rats just in this one little spot? I don't think so. Come on, man. I, 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 yeah, I think, uh, I think that's two extra spawns. I really do. That's... Taking this sewer shit to a whole nother level, aren't they? I'll take all that, thank you. Vampire, did it seem like the vampires always targeted your merchants too? Like, on purpose? Like, hmm, what's the best way to troll this player? Where's the merchant at? Oh. Vampires attacking Whiterun. Who's getting molested over there? Oh, that's, that's Adrian. Our, our blacksmith. Right? Your merchant, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, your merchant becomes Rambo, too, right? It's not just that every vampire and 16 of their death hounds, they're only supposed to have, like, two with them, but no, about 16 of them pop up out of nowhere doing AOE cold damage to everyone, right? It's not just that they're looking. They're not even bothering the, the guards. The guards aren't even paying attention. Oh, that's all right. You're looking for the blacksmith? All right, we'll just chill till you find the blacksmith before we even think about attacking you. Then... As long as you're over there, we'll have an excuse to pull out our bow and accidentally miss you and hit the fucking blacksmith with our bows, too, to help you kill them, right? This is what the guards are saying. So eventually your vampire finds your lone fucking merchant that happens to be out at three in the morning for no reason, right? Always. And they start attacking. And then your merchant, like you say, instead of running, it's like your merchant was looking for a fight. I bet you there's some vampires out. I guess I'll go take a 3 a.m. stroll real quick. I know the guards aren't paying attention. 
Exactly. Like that shit's set up. You gotta pick on somebody else, you assholes. Don't. Let me guess. More friggin' rats, right? Down here, you little shit. This is what you call ninja practice. The sewers on max difficulty in, ob in oblivion. That's ninja practice. I'm trying to get around the friggin' rats. Shit. I hear you breathing heavy over there. Is there really two more rats in that cave? Please tell me there's two more in that corner every time. I think up to this point, I believe they've added four already. They're never here, ever. Never, ever once been here. I, I played this game a lot. I may be wrong. There may just be, they may be coming in twos and threes where there's only ever been one before. Maybe they've always been there, but yeah. I'm thinking there's not three fucking total in this cave right here. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I, I don't think so. Garden this one little fucking plant? No. Mm -mm. No, they added some. Sure seems like it anyway. This, I, this is getting kind of fucking ridiculous now. Just a little bit ridiculous. <sighs> it's nice to have a uh, gold piece on you. Appreciate it. If I can get at least one of those three, that's good. Just one. Fuck. It's been like the rat apocalypse here, hadn't it? It really has. Let me guess, another friggin' rat. Okay. Show me a tutorial for a big dig. Seriously.
Like, bitch, calm down. Yo, bitch, calm down. So, all right, we got we got three options because they're really different. We can do just mage, which honestly I'm just swinging my da I, honestly the fireball is the only thing that's worth anything. I can hit somebody with my dagger twenty times and not do what a fireball does, so that's that's not a big deal. But we can do a pure mage, or we can do. A mage assassin hybrid. But the difference being a staff or a dagger. With a staff, you have a different damage, different damage modifiers. With a dagger, you have the access to poisons as well as weapon enchantments, right? With a staff, that kind of takes things out of it, but it leaves you basically buffing your staff. You find ways to buff your staff, maximize your magicka. Um, your summons, your summons and your debuff spell worked about the same, but you're using your staff as just a base damage output, whereas your dagger becomes the synergy between your dagger and your debuff spell. They basically debuff one another, so you have synergy there. So, using similar types of magic, but Basically, it's the idea, dagger staff. There you go. Because other than that, it's it's sort of the same. You you do the build a little different, but not not a whole lot. You just factor in uh, poisons and enchanting for your dagger. Or I, honestly, dagger, sword, whatever. Daggers get a higher critical modifier, but it makes no difference on max difficulty. It really does. It, one point of damage difference or something. It's just stupid. It's kind of irrelevant, actually. I think the overall sneak attack to your overall damage, I think it probably applies to your poisons more than it does your weapon. Just the simple fact that you're using a dagger, I believe, modifies the rest of your damage a little bit more. But other than that, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. I mean, you could run around with a two-handed sword as well as a dagger, and the end results are the same. You kill things just about as fast, to be honest. But sometimes just using a dagger in and of itself just makes you feel more stealthy. You know what I'm saying? So... Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? So dagger, dagger, okay. It was either dagger or staff. That's just what I decided. With just the staff, that really means just clothing too. Really, just clothing. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't minimize the effectiveness of my spells, but I'd still roll with just clothing. Clothing, clothing's as effective. You can, hell, if you've got rings and amulets, you can damn near roll butt naked and still be as effective as if you had a full set of Daedric armor on. It really doesn't matter. Not really.
Enchanting? Oh, are you talking about Skyrim? Enchanting? That's not, yeah, that's not an exploit. Exercise, the whole point is you get experience for doing something. An exploit, an exploit is, here's an exploit. Putting a soul gem into an item and at that exact same time pressing your select and start buttons and, your, and then going back to the dashboard and then reloading and as soon as you reload into the enchanting table pressing select twice and pressing the B button to go into your menu and when you come out your enchanting's at 100. You know, some stupid ass Grand Theft Auto shit like that. That's exploiting. That's an exploit. Exploiting some combination of button presses or exploiting some use of the menu or the dashboard or, or loading or something to cause the the game to essentially glitch and, and give you a bunch of shit that you haven't earned. But if you went and found, bought, earned, dungeon dove into fucking, uh, what, the Dwarven Ruins, which is the best place to go for soul gems, right? And you got a bunch of soul gems together, and then you went and took your pickaxe and fucking, even if you had two pickaxes and you're dual wielding those motherfuckers, whatever you did, if you went where you needed to go, to go get a bunch of iron ore, and they came back and transmuted that shit into silver and gold, and then took that and smithed a bunch of rings, and then took your fucking soul gems and put shit like fortify carry weight or something on all those to make give them max value to raise your alteration skill, to raise your smithing skill, to raise your enchanting skill, and then to raise your speech craft when you sold that shit. That is, that is the way it's designed for you to do that. Whether you do it all in an hour or whether you spread that shit out over across an entire game, that's your business. Look, if you go and lift weights every day for a week or you lift weights one day a week for seven weeks, you'll either be stronger in a week or you'll be stronger in seven weeks. What, other than that, how, what does it really matter? It doesn't. The, the exploit is being used like the word fucking racist these days. Anything, something, anytime something doesn't fit into either what I think you should do or how I do it, then you're a fucking racist exploiting the game cheating. Uh, no. No. Exploits are the obvious artificial game. Have, requiring no skill or thought or effort on your part. Just to have something that you haven't earned. That's an exploit. You know, obvious exploit. Using the tools that the game gives you to earn X XP in the only way that you can earn it in the game, which is by doing shit. So now you're exploiting the game by doing what you do, which it gave you to do to earn the very thing you're getting for doing it. That, that makes no fucking sense. Yeah, so don't, yeah. Yeah, don't, I wouldn't burden myself with that bullshit. That's not an extra at all. That's literally how the game is designed. Smithed a bunch of iron daggers and exploited my blacksmithing skill. No, you didn't. You smithed some fucking iron daggers. I, sm I smithed 300 of them. Where'd you get the shit to smith them? Well, I went and mined for it. That's exploiting? Really? Now, if you find a way to hit an iron node one time and get 6,000 iron ore out of it to where you have to fucking slow walk, you know? Now, okay, if you drop 6,000 pounds and then tell your follower to pick it up so that they can carry 6,000 pounds for you, yeah, you're exploiting an obvious glitch in the game. That's an exploit. Sure, carry weight exploit, getting your followers to pick something up so they can carry 10,000 times what the game legitimately limits them from carrying. You know goddamn well you're exploiting. Yeah, that's an exploit, sure. But going and earning your shit and then using it and getting paid for it? That's the fucking point. Your boss at fucking McDonald's or Wendy's asks you to stay over and flip 10,000 more burgers for an extra ship and then says you're not getting paid for it? What are you going to tell him? How many middle fingers are you going to show him? You only got two. You probably show him each one about six times. Maybe show him your dick too while you're at it, right? I mean, seriously. So, yeah, that's not an exploit. It's overused. No, that's actually the point. You know, I'm be sorry. No, actually, legitimately, people call that exploit. That's what they actually call it. No coincidence that you use it. You probably heard it used that way a thousand times, and it's, I, in my opinion, it's not. Did this goblin really have to yell every time I hit him? That's all I want to know. Is that really necessary? <laughs> Dude. 
dupe, burger duping. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, your boss can totally. Yeah, that's that's an exploit I'd totally go for. Hey boss, I know how to get two for one on burgers. Oh really? I guess you'll just be assistant manager now. Yeah, but I only started this morning. Yeah, but you can duplicate burgers. I mean, shit. What other qualifications do you need? Fireball fight with this bitch ass mage goblin. Epic fireball fight for the ages. You can't get up close enough. Now, see, since I'm not using any ranged, since I'm not using a bow, I just can't shoot the bitch with some poison from a distance and let her just die on her own. No. Which I haven't exactly limited myself from doing that. Well, I, I threw my bow away, so yeah, I guess I have. Sneak's gone up like 10 points already. Fortify restoration. Exactly. That's an exploit. You're cheating. Your $3 million sword that does 9,000 damage, and that's the only way you'll play on anything above novice? Okay, look. I... I I can't even look at you anymore without seeing a vagina with feet. I just can't. That's just, that's just the definition of pussy right there. I, sorry, don't. If there's any girls in here, I don't mean to offend, but I mean, oh look, even the girls in here would be, yeah, that's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a pussy to me. Hell, I don't even play like that. Girls don't do that. Yeah. You see people talking about that like they're proud of it, and I'm like. Man, you're a bitch in a game? How do you feel in real life? Like, that's got to be a pathetic existence right there. Just going to run out of charges on my staff here in a minute. I love the lightning effect in this game. I love it. I love all the magic effects in this game, actually. I think they're twice as good as Skyrim's. had to burn up the whole thing, didn't she? The whole thing. Oh, yeah. I found a repair. I love how the, uh, the little uh, messages that they give you speak in terms of I and stuff. Like you're making notes to yourself or something. So we're going with a dagger instead of a staff, right? I'm, 
I'm leaving that up to you guys, really. And that's pretty much what you all agreed on, but... Because other than that, it's it's like it's it's like pretty much the same. I like I said, I wanted to play with the Dark Brotherhood outfit. Uh, I I still can. Honestly, I wouldn't wear it till later in the game because it buffs all those extra stats for you. Um. It's still running light armor. I mean, I need some way to level up. That's the. Got to think about this. Okay, so there's two no-nos. I don't care what class you're playing. There's two no-nos. Using destruction, even if you're playing a pure mage, using destruction or conjuration as a major skill is is a grave no-no. I would say no matter what you're playing, don't ever do that. Ever do that. Whether you're using it or not, just don't. Well, if you're not using it at all, I, I guess that's okay. But if you're going to use it as a major skill, if you're not using it, Say if you're going to efficiently level, Conjuration's okay. If you're not using it, if you're not using a summons. Don't know why you wouldn't, but if you're not, Conjuration's okay as a major level because it's really easy to train in. It's really easy to level up real quick. You know, cast a few skeletons and you can level up. Whether you're efficiently leveling or not, it's a good way to get a level. But if you're using Conjuration on the regular, man, you're going to be at level 12, 8, 10, 12 before any of your skills are even at like level five or six quality it's, that's a no-no that is a definite no-no see any chests over there Look, would you guys just do your job man ah, damn it it's that prisoner again kill her. kill her she might be working with the assassins no she is not one of them she can help us she must help us. As you wish, sire. Is Come he just lip syncing for the Emperor? I, I think he's just lip syncing. not to have to shout. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Well, if we're going to Mage, I would take Atronach. If we're going with the Staff, Go with the Atronach. We already played through like that, though. We we played through like that once. I think we got to the uh, we got to Shivering Isles, but the game was lagging so bad that we was uh, we couldn't play it. Remember something? A couple of you might remember it. 
Um, we're doing fine until then. The only thing annoying was the staff just sometimes likes to shoot a few extra times. But that 50% spell absorption? Um, Two of the uh, two of the spell absorb sigil stones, along with that, basically give you a hundred percent spell absorption, which is immunity because instead of it hurting you, you absorb it. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. Strength and endurance. Probably go. Power. It's really not as necessary. It'll go up on its own anyway. Yeah, it's um when you first, especially when you first get in there, you can see all the grass doing this. That's really what's causing it. It's all the fucking grass, like those fields of grass and all that shit's moving. Oh man, it's killing the game. It has to render all that shit. That's, from what I understand, that's what does it. Um, I'm thinking on the Xbox One, that's not gonna be an issue. It should be able to handle that with no problem. But I don't know that it, it works like that. Like if it's letting the emulator run it, I don't know how much actual uh, RAM it's actually getting to use. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's optimized for that. I, I don't know. I, we'll see when we get there. If it's just bogging down and shit, we'll just move on and go play Skyrim. I mean, if the game just decides I've had enough, well, okay. Go on and do something else. Agility's going to go up fast. Uh, I think it goes uh, apprentice by default. If I were to say done, it would just give me apprentice by default. I'm trying to think whether I want. I mean, strength. Strength kind of makes sense in this one. Willpower would be the one thing that uh, I won't really have an issue raising. Strength either, really, at least early on. signs I read show the end of my path. Yeah, my we all death, had said staff, we would have gone with the end Will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the warrior shall prove a stalwart companion when fortune fades. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. 
In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. I go to my grave, a tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while, then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. Stick close and let us do our job. You'll be all right. You can see what was up there. Worried about me, bitch? Thought you were after the Emperor. Oh. Looks like you got your man pleaser kicked in. Where the fuck are y'all going? Don't get in our way. Emperor saw his death coming, so they all decided to smoke a little of that shit, you know, to numb the pain, you know what I'm saying? So, I just cast lightning instead of each other? Okay. Yeah, I'm totally down. I'm, I'm over here then. Y'all do your thing. I'll see you when you're done. I'm not down with all that lightning and... I've had, I had, I had enough of that from that, uh, bitch-ass goblin earlier. Take a look. Lydia's behind you? You said the throw throw void shout. Okay. I might have to live with that for a while because that just sounds funny. <laughs> like I'd be mad at the game, but this is just too awesome to be mad at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I would hate the game for this, but I'm enjoying it too much, so yeah. <laughs> The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about a that trap! side passage back there? Worth the a try. Let's go. They're behind. You ready to see me run out Wait of this room here, like a little bitch? Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your <laughs> you ready? For, For the Emperor! Emperor. <laughs> Come out of the room with the hands in your air. Ah! Take them down. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws. Of oblivion. My blood for the Empire. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> this is this is the sewer the sewer rendition of assassin porn. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Well, it's nice that at least Glenroy's got a couple gold on him. We failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. 
strange. He saw something in you, trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Okay. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Joffrey? He said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced witch hunter. Am I right? All right. First, we've got to find a really cool picture. <laughs> Monk. Okay, here's the thing. I can get away with that, actually. I can get away with that. Because we're not going pure mage. We're not going pure mage, right? Dagger, not a staff, right? Dagger, dagger, okay. Um, restoration boots are pretty slow. start higher too so that's this so we'll be level 20 before we know it that's just mercantile at least at a level is too so these are skills we'll use i'm not sure about the armor i don't know if i want to wear armor i can get away with doing skyrim we can get away with it let's keep alteration anyway nothing else so I can level up later. You know what I mean? 
once a lot of this stuff gets to such a level that trying to play out a whole game in my head. And it's making my head hurt. Okay. I don't I got at least one. I've got one. So that'll do that's something. I'll definitely use that. Have that. That won't go up very fast because you can't take a whole lot of hits. But it allowed me to wear the Dark Brotherhood armor, so that's that's cool, and I, I kind of want to do that. So, um, what's my um, Starts at 35. That starts this at 25. That works. That works. Can't, isn't uh, isn't Iskramor's spoon considered a weapon? Can you actually equip it as a weapon? I want to say there's some kind of cutlery you could forks or something you can actually equip as a weapon. motherfucking glass. Oh, shit. <laughs> stealthy. You sure you want to be a stealthy motherfucker? Are you sure you want to be a stealthy motherfucker? Why, yes. Yes, I do. I do wish to be a stealthy motherfucker. Oh, man. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats Whatever. and goblins won't give you any trouble. Oh, man. 
You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? You got you got a you got a Iskramor spoon in uh what's his face? That serial killer dude in uh in in Windhelm? I can't remember his name. You know the one that runs the uh Calixo? Yeah, Calix Calixto or whatever his name is. He's got a Iskramor spoon. I think it I think it counts as a weapon. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Is it a silver short sword? I think it is. I, I kind of want that. Can I, can I take the sword with me? Alright, so here's the deal. There are certain things that one is required to level up just to, just to contend with the game. So, uh, to be honest, the one thing I, I think about is endurance. I like to get my endurance to 100. That's usually when I'm when you see me efficiently leveling. It it's almost always related to endurance. Like okay, if I've like I don't know what destruction is willpower, right? And then conjuration is intelligence. So if you're going to raise your endurance by five, you might as well raise what other attributes you can level up by five anyway. You know, but endurance is really the only one I cared about. So we're not going to do that this time. Um, but there will be times where um, simply level-wise, just depending on what level we are, uh, like for example, okay, the two key ones, really, um, Conjuration is kind of secondary because I use it anyway. So in order to be able to summon a scamp, okay, I'll probably want to find like a bound dagger and cast that a few times to get my Conjuration to 25. Now, when you're efficiently leveling, you're, you're grinding for your attributes. Now, if I get my conjuration to 25, well, I might as well go ahead and raise my intelligence by 10 because I'll probably have other intelligence-related stuff leveled up too. At least enough to get four points in intelligence, if not five, probably. But then after that, don't, won't worry about it. But intelligence probably won't be an issue because I, I conjure regularly. You know, just about everything you fight, you're gonna conjure something. So that, that, that goes up pretty quick. Plus, I have magic as a major skill, so magic goes up a little faster. Um, but destruction is something I need to train in. I'm going to have to. Like, that need, it's not a problem getting this to 50 by the time I'm level 8. That's not the issue. I'll probably want it to get it to 50 earlier than that because I want to um, enchant some stuff. And in Oblivion, you can't just enchant something just because you walked into Whiterun not knowing a motherfucking thing. In Oblivion, you actually have to know something. I, I, you can't put something on a sword that you don't know how to put on a sword, for example, or a dagger or whatever. So I'll need to, at some point, use my destruction. Now, seeing as I have, um, I've made armor a major skill. Now, if I do use armor for anything, it's gonna count towards my major skills. There's no way to efficiently level it. If I raise my armor, 10 points, I'm going to level. I can't, I can't avoid that unless I just don't ever level, which I, I'm leveling, I'm gonna be playing normally. So I can't efficiently level endurance using armor the way I set this up. I can't even if I want to. Now, if I train in my destruction, which I'm not using to efficiently level my, my willpower skill or my willpower attribute, I'm using simply to get my destruction. If you need to be better at something, you have to practice it in this game, unless you do some kind of exploit. If you want to level up a skill, you need to use it. That's just the way it is, like anything else in life. I know nowadays we're told by Hillary Clinton that we can just have everything at someone else's expense. But in this game, being a little more old school, back when reality was still at least sort of a thing, you actually had to earn stuff. This isn't Skyrim where you can just have it. You actually have to earn it. So um, there will be skills I will have to train in. I don't have to sit there and grind to make sure I get every single point I'm getting so that I can raise my endurance up. That's efficient leveling. But at some point, there will be skills. Since destruction goes up relatively slow, what will I use it on? Probably iron uh, armor. That's the best thing. 
you know, use destruction on armor on yourself to degrade your armor to practice your destruction skills. And then you can fix your armor. Now, I'm, like, I'm not going to do it to, to raise armor. I will cast it until I get enough destruction, you know, to at least, at least a, a few points each level. Because that has to be at 50 by the time I get to level 8. I prefer it to be at 50 by the time I get to about level 5. That's what I prefer. Just to have it there. Once I hit 50 with destruction, I'm not really worried about it after that. There's just certain spells that you can't cast till you have a destruction skill of 50. So, um, using some skills is still going to be necessary. It always is in the game. So, the first time you see me casting a spell, don't say, Oh, you're efficiently level. No, actually, I'm not. But I do have to raise skills, and the only way to do so is by using them. So, will they count towards my attributes anymore that way? No, they won't. So, we're not doing any efficient leveling. But you will see me use skills. Sorry if I'm actually doing something in the game that's related to the game. If that's an issue with anybody, then well, just go find a dick and die on it. Really. Seriously. I'm just throwing that out there to defend that before, before it even starts. It's okay to use something in the game. In the fucking game. Just saying. What I'm not going to do is have all my key attributes to 100 by the time I'm level 11 or 12, which I would normally do in the game, because that's what the game basically tells you to do. Basically. It even hints at that. My proof, any fucking guild you go to anywhere in the game, what do you see people doing? Every guild that you go to, what are people doing? Practicing. Casting fucking spells on themselves. Hitting fucking dummies, punching each other, practicing block on each other. That's what they're doing. If you can't get one of them to swing at you, go find a fucking rat in the sewer to chew on you for a while to practice your skills. That's what the game's made for, but we're not going to do that. So. Early on, it'd be nice to have these actually. So I figured out, um, I believe I figured out a way to uh, uh, play without a summons. It won't work all the time, though. It, w it, it won't work all the time. Well, no, I, I take that back, actually. So it might. It makes some areas pretty hard, but I, th I think it's still doable. Okay, so there's a spell that they sell in the in the uh, in the Dark Brotherhood. So there's a there's a spell they sell in the Dark Brother, and I think it's something like de deadly. No, that's the invisibility. So I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, it's paralyze, paralyze for two seconds and something. I don't remember what the other thing is, but essentially, if you could cast 
a paralyzed spell, but the enemy has to be weak to magic. There is one enemy in the game that I know of that's immune to magic, meaning that nothing you do magical to him will count. You can even cast a 100% weakness to magic spell on him, and it won't matter because he's immune to magic, right? And that's uh, Mankar, not Mankar, Mankar Cameron? One of the Camerons. I don't think it's like the main bad guy. I think it's like his son, the, resur the resurrected version of his son. Anyway, it's like at the end of the game. That is one enemy that's immune to magic, so there's no weakness to magic that you can hit him with. But anyone else, if you have strong weakness to magic and weakness to an element in a particular element on your weapon, where the second or third or fourth hit is six, seven, eight, ten, twelve times stronger than the first, you can compound enough damage to kill someone outright in two or three seconds. And the paralyze spell is for two seconds, so I'm like, if you can paralyze somebody from sneak, you can kill them before they get up. If, if you can't kill everything in the game in under two seconds, your build is bad. You should be able to kill everything once you've got your character built. Now, early on, you're struggling just to kill anything, which is how most RPGs are. But if by the time you've built uh, a good spell, summons, weapon setup, or even without a summons helping you, that a paralyzed spell should knock an enemy out two seconds is all, is all that spell lasts. That should be enough. Your first second to proc an effect. The second second to outright kill the enemy. You should watch their health bar. Just do this. And if they're unable to defend themselves or cast spells or do anything else, if they're paralyzed, you should be able to see their health bars just disappear. If you're not killing them that fast, something's wrong. That rat's so chill, I, I hate killing that rat. Until I come back later and use him to uh, train in like block and heavy armor and shit. That, that rat is great for that shit. Uh, oh, we're good. We're good. This is how we're gonna play, we're good. Since doing the whole light armor thing, I guess we'll. I'm not going to use a shield. Anymore. Restoration's already at 40. That's crazy. Two. So if we can get like five here.
three or four of them anyway. Hey, it's better than nothing. Oh, I DPS. Always DPS. The feedback isn't fancy, but it fills you up. The on the chapel the law is Don't be the last to read today's Black Horse Courier. Nice. Wanted poster's already out here, too. Sweet. That's convenient. Is it citizen? You know, you know what is uh, in in team based play. You want to know what is some of the most fun I ever had uh, was in Final Fantasy fourteen. Believe it or not, which I stopped playing because something some game came out. I want to say it was Dark Souls two. Some game came out at the time that took me away from that. But I don't know. Either that or Elder Scrolls Online. I might still be playing those games. But in Final Fantasy XIV, they had this class. It was a two-handed warrior DPS off-tank. You were half-tank, half-DPS. If you built your character right. If you didn't, you were basically trash. But if you built your character right, um, you could do... You were right in... I mean, honestly, you, you could find this... It was this balance between... Um, uh, a DPS class and the and you know the tank tank you know the old sword and shield prototypical tank you were like right in the middle um, the extra health you lost you could steal it back like a reaver so it was like a reaver style class reaver style tank look like I, like I can describe it oh man some of the most fun I ever had because you could deal your share of damage and you could prove your knowledge of the class by taking some of the um, burden off of the healer. Basically, if you if you and a healer had a good rhythm, when you got down to like 60%, you could heal yourself. And then if you got down below 50, the healer would know that your that your heal was on cooldown and could heal you. And you might have to do that real quick, but if your healer was trying to top you off at 70% all the time, She's probably going to draw a threat to him or herself anyway, right? But if your healer understood, you know, get down to a certain point and it's like you had you didn't have voice chat unless you were on Skype. Now if you had if you were on Skype and you could talk in real time while you were playing, oh shit, you and your team could communicate. But if you were relying on on typing, you were you could actually I was on PS4, you could play with PC players. It was like cross platform or whatever you call it. So there's PC players in there. And I used to get compliments from the PC players saying, wow, good job. And that meant that you're not a sorry piece of shit who doesn't know what you're doing. That's what that means, you know? I used to get compliments on that. And PS4 wasn't near, like in the computer, you have a, you have a, you have a lineup of all your, you have hotkeys for your skills. So it's much easier just to move around and just pick your skill, you know, just point and click your, whereas in the, in, on the, with the controller, you had to fumble around, you know, you had to use your triggers and go find, you know, have certain things assigned and you only had access to like, I don't know, was it six, six or eight abilities or something? Where on the PC you had, I don't know, 12 or 16 or something. There's certainly some of an advantage to a PC. So if a PC player said, wow, good job. Good job, everybody, you know. And that, that's how I was judged how I did. If, if I thought I was doing all right and everybody's like, wow, uh, they just didn't say anything at the end of the round, that was almost like saying you were garbage. Pretty much. And so, uh, getting in there and learning how to use that class and learning how to work with a healer, oh man, that was fun. That was fun. It was like, it was tactical, almost. I really enjoyed that. That was the one exception. That was the one time I didn't mind playing tank at all. 
because I really I was I was doing the DPS job anyway. But I, I could I could afford to draw all the threat to myself, so I had more enemies to pound on. You know, I was like like shit. This is the best of both worlds. I can call everybody over here and take it and dish it out all at the same time. But your, your healer really kind of had to know what they were doing. They had to be on, on their toes because you, you couldn't take, you know, basically as long as you couldn't get one-shotted by anything and you had a decent healer with you, you were you were solid. You were good. If you were squishy enough to get one-shotted by stuff, there's no getting around that. Hey, uh, Byron, wasn't that you that was asking about the manual of armor or manual of arms? I think the book you're talking about is considered a skill book, so it probably has a value of like 25 or 75 or more, 50. But this is what I was thinking of when you asked about that, is I remember there being books in here. But I, it's, it, it, it doesn't count as the book you're talking about. Like you have to have, it's a the one you're talking about, when you read it, I think you actually get a point in armor. I think it's an actual skill book. But I can show you the, the bookseller in, in Imperial City. He's got it. He sells it. Now, maybe once that quest activates, it might disappear from his inventory. That's possible. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Couldn't tell you. I was just saying, those are the books that I was thinking of when you said that. I'm like, you know, I remember seeing something like that in those books over there by the, uh, by the, you know, the, the arena hopefuls, which is what those people are called. Um, so that's that's what I was thinking of. It was not what you were looking for, but I think I think it has the same name of the book you were looking for: Manual of Armor, Manual of Arms, Armor's Challenge, or something. I think Armor's Challenge might have been the name of the the quest book. Something like that, though. I was just, I was just showing you what I was thinking when you mentioned that. Speak. I don't need to go there. I need to go over here. Armor's challenged. Okay. I know how to pick locks until I break a pick, then I yell horribly and blame the game for everything that's that that ever been wrong with video games ever. So I only know how to pick locks sometimes. Too late now. It's not like I can't ever play Oblivion again. I, I kind of want to run around with the staff too. It's like when I get my my when I get a couple different build ideas in my head, I want to do them both. You know. Edgar Vatrine, you don't want the very best. You want. You cheap. don't want the best. You and want cheap. cheap. <laughs> I've got cheap. All right. Okay, okay. Not what? Yeah, I doubt it. No, <laughs> good. Don't waste your flattery on me. What? A, I doubt it. Yeah, I. What? Don't, please. I'm sorry. All right, I get it. Don't, please. I'm sorry. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something <laughs> to suit you. Oh, man. They're little. They're little. Things they say when you're... Uh, that might be pushing it right there. You think that's pushing it? Probably coming down. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was kind of kidding. That's just not real. Oh, come on! No, bro. Bitch, extra two gold, seriously? Uh, I'll try to grab this now. Huh? 
anything else he's got that I want. Thank you for your patronage. Bye. Greetings, friend. Spare a coin for the infirm. For the infirm. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. Did I pick speechcraft as a major skill? Fare thee well. I had meant to. I had meant to. See, we could level up here. That's right. I'll, Feel I'll level free up. to browse, friend. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Society Merchants. Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed Merchants. this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinair opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Make it quick. Well, what a don't, what a dumb joke. I don't, don't, that's just stupid. What, not, that's, that's just stupid. Really? Don't, that's just stupid. Remark, yes, yes. Whatever you say. That's stupid. Let's do business. <laughs> That's just stupid. <laughs> oh, shit. Excellent bargain. That's a fair deal. Drop. Seen. I think we a pound. A it? good price for a good customer. Why it hasn't gone up a point? Because I made it a major skill. That's why it takes fucking forever now. You got a great. Forever. Third. That's it. Yes. Third. Let's see how many transactions it actually takes.
made. Up there. Up there. Up there. Almost fifty. Wow. Is there a, a good price for a good customer? I appreciate Thanks again for your help. We had no other place to turn. Thanks again. We had no choice. We please, what's up? Get your black horse courier here. I should join the Thieves Guild. Right now. I want to join right now. Greetings, Imperial. Have you ever spoken to Dull Grosh? Chug about wearing light armor. If you need to learn how to use light armor, Groshug is the one to talk to. Hey, you know what? Speaking of that. There's nothing to stop me from training, though. I don't have to efficiently level, but I can sure train in the stuff that... sure can. At least, right now I can. Next time I level. We have no emperor and no heir. That's never happened. You see. Yeah, I can train in heavy armor. Cheap. At least get a couple points of endurance here and there. For free. Don't tell me using a fucking trainer counts as uh Carlia's husband?
Yep. Was that? You've got a point. Would you get? Don't. I doubt. You've got a point. Yep. I doubt. I won't. That's really funny. You. Would you? Yep. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? I don't think that's enough. He is the king of Thebes in Cyrano. Everyone is here. Oh, Let's begin. Okay. I thought it needed Each to be like 60 Each of you is seeking membership in the Thebes Guild. The Thebes Guild does not admit. We are followers of the Great Fox, and I am his doyen. Merely by finding me, you have passed the first test. Yeah, Carlia didn't have a husband. Have the dude who you're probably talking about, they were lovers, not, not husband and wife. Rather than they the weren't normal married. Test of skill, I'm going I, I to don't make believe this they a were contest. Married. That's not fair. Methrodel, you know the rules. However, for Amuse and the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Aleptus without killing him, I'll be invited that show. into the guild. I'll have it before sunrise. Somewhere in the Imperial City. The beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. One more That's thing. That's not fair. You cannot kill each other during this trial. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. Hmm. Yeah. You might do. Here you go. 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 Now get out of here. What is it, citizen? Yeah, but I, I still, I don't think that was Carlia's husband. I know you're talking about. I don't remember his name off the top of my head either. I think I got fucking pits. Oh, come on! She says here, Thief, you stole the diary from me. You stole the diary I was stealing. Thief, you stole that diary from me. Now I have to wait to get into the guild. Thief. Congratulations! You now owe your loyalty to our guildmaster, the Grey Fox. First, never steal from another member of the guild. Second, never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. Gallus, there you go. Good deal. Uh, uh, another good one would be uh, what's her name, T Tanaya, or whoever the uh, the fence is in the Thieves Guild. You know that chick running around that gives you all the attitude. Her husband's name. That's a good one.
for all this shit. I'm sure I do. She says it. Uh, I know his name. Yeah, I know his name. I know his name. I know his name now. I was like, now that I asked him, like, you know? I don't remember myself. I know what it is. She, she tells you who it is, too. But you have to know that they're actually married to, uh, to make the connection. Tania, t t yeah, something like that. You know what I'm talking about, though, the, the, the fence chick in the Thieves' Guild. Her husband. A hint, he's in the same room that she's in. They both hang out in the cistern, or whatever, in the, in the bar area, where Vex and everybody else hangs out. He's in there, too. He's one of them. Is he up here sneaking? Sometimes he's up here sneaking. No, he's not sneaking up here. What the hell what time is it? Oh, it's AM. Okay, uh shit. Dirge, there you go. That's it. She even says, I'll have dirge throw you into the into the cistern or something. That's her husband. Let's see, Vex isn't married. Hello! What's your story? I was at Olaf's earlier and I I see you are with the gray fox. Do you need a fence? All right. Not is re well done. No, re not you're wasting your breath. Re is that so? You're good. You got some hot property. You got some hot property. A good price for a good customer. I think. I think I can. An excellent. I think. I think I. You've made a good bit of gold. A good. Uh, more an excellent I think I think that's more that so you drop I've you've made a good I think I think you got a great you made an excellent I think I, I th think I that's a fair deal.
I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. Hmm. Shadow hide you. Shadow hide you. Hide the Evening. Hello there. Are you here to join the Mages Guild? The Guild is always accepting new members. You seem capable enough. Are you sure you want to join? Very good. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. What a wonderful opportunity for you. Now, please keep in mind that you'll need recommendations from every local guild hall in Cyrodiil before you may enter the Arcane University. I dare say my opinion might carry more weight than others, if you take my meaning. Still, all are necessary to proceed. Good luck to you. The Grey Fox in this game? It's the Mysterious Stranger. A recommendation? From me? Well, of course. Raminus would naturally want my opinion, wouldn't he? This is a situation we can both benefit from, Associate. You do me a small favor, and I'll happily send along a glowing recommendation. If you can find Jaskar, I'll write the recommendation immediately. Hello? He's disappeared. I mean, he's really disappeared. No one here has he's seen really him in days. If someone from the council were to stop by and find him gone, it'd look bad for me. I can't have that. Talk to the mages here and see what you can find out. Please come find me as soon as you've located Jaskar. 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 You can find him when he's invisible. Uh, he'll be down here somewhere. Take this now, right? You should be right here, somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, if you look around, you can find your scar. You might be standing out in the hallway somewhere. Hmm. Is it somewhere else this time? Not here, huh? He's usually here. Maybe I'm just not seeing. I 
guess theoretically he could be anywhere in the guild. But usually even when he's invisible, you can... Well, that sucks. Volinaro, at your service. Certainly. No, sorry. Gracious, what a hero. All right, I get it. Only quality yeah. goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? You want to find Jaskar? All right, I think I can help with that. And whatever you do, you can't tell Jean about it. You want to find just God? All right. And whatever. You That's the spirit. You help me pull off a little prank, and I'll help you find just God. <laughs> really? You're going to love this. I would if you'd get I'll around to I'll teach you it. a spell to unlock things. What you need to do is get into Jean's desk and bring me her manual of spellcraft, okay? Her room is upstairs. Make sure no one sees you. You do that for me. Just go. Her. Let me know when you're done with that little task. Have you pulled that little prank yet? You've got Jean's book, I see. All right, then. I'll just take that from you. Meet me in the living quarters just after 10 p.m. Maybe he'll show up now. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you have to kind of start. He's always, like, right here. He's invisible, and he says, shh. Tells you something, but yeah, he's not showing up. Whatever. Ready to find Jaskar? Just watch. You'll see. Aww. Hello there. Oh, please don't be mad. He puts his We're ears just back. Having some fun. Like a cat. We just got tired of Jean lording her position over us when she barely knows anything about magic. Every now and then, <laughs> we like to trick her. Hey, we figured it was time to move on to a new prank. This one was getting boring anyway, so you can tell her you found me. Be seeing you. Idiots. Greetings, fellow. Any luck finding Jaskar? Found him, did you? Well, I suppose that's good. You'll have to forgive me. I seem to have misplaced something. Hmm. Yes, well, let's never mind that. You've fulfilled your end of the bargain, though, so I'll fulfill mine. Ramanus will have my recommendation. And don't you forget about me like once you've the finished best. your training. I'm sure we can help each other out. Good day.
not this, this guy's the trainer, right? I'm Sira. Yeah, he's just the trainer. Good day. He's not training anyway. I wonder why not. Well. Take care. So he's not even training? I don't want training, but. What is, what, they got banker's hours or something? It's my pleasure. Goodbye. I know. This is weird. What? What can I do? Be seeing you. Well met. Praise Akatosh. Good day. What the fuck? Nobody's training. Nobody's selling. Nobody's doing anything. Uh, weird. And I believe we're seriously missing somebody here. Why does she keep... That's what I'm looking for right there. What, is it because it's fucking Friday or something? What the fuck is this? Middle of the day. Okay, this is very strange. Never seen this before. Hi, the nine. Shut up, bitch. Yes. Uh, how nice. <laughs> how? I doubt it. You're good. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Another satisfied customer. Yeah, I don't know what kind of hours you're running. Hell of a work day you run, lady. Well, I sell my spells for 13 minutes out of the day. You just have to conveniently know exactly when to talk to me. Or else, sorry, I'll be taking a nap. Like, damn, bitch. When are you actually working? <laughs> Damn, bitch. <laughs> now it's nighttime again. Great. Greetings. I'm D. I'm a. F can't talk to Falco Farewell. in the day, and then I can't talk to her about it in the day. You have to wait till nine, and then yeah. Stupid.
that noise is going to make me want to actually literally kill somebody. Man, if you sat down at the table with me doing that, we'd be fighting. We'd be fighting. That's... I, I mean, that's just it. You can beat me up. You're probably going to have to, because we're, we're fighting. No ifs, ands, or buts Good about to it. See you. I don't think anyone's selling. I'm that. Trayvon. We don't... My, I, I didn't ask for a speech, bitch. Yes? I like that. Oh, that. Don't really interesting. It's not bad. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Is that really all he's got? Oh, I need this eventually, anyway, right? Oh, oh, shield. Hmm. Now that's something. Hmm. I mean, what are all three of these? 600? You know what? I'll skip the heal. That, that, that's enough. Thank you. Come again. Take care. File card doesn't come out till daytime. Trayvon and Red Guard, someone else. I think that's at the skin grab kills. Yeah, yeah, that's those are the ones I need. Weakness to magic, weakness to fire. Those are what I gotta have. Yeah, it's beyond, like, pet peeve. It's like, I'll go to jail before I listen to that for one more second. I mean, it's it's that what is it, a cut and dry. I, don't tell me you're I, here I, for a recommendation. No. I don't even stop to question why I have such a problem with it. It's just, it is what it is. Don't waste my time if you're not ready for this. Are you prepared to do what is necessary to gain a recommendation from me? Hmm, very well. We shall see how prepared you actually are. There was a particular ring of burden I was testing some time ago. If I didn't know better, I'd say he purposely tossed it down the well behind the guild hall. You will retrieve this ring for me. Should you manage to do so, I shall consider sending a recommendation to the university. The well is... All right. Good day. Yes, yes, hurry up, please don't waste my time. Then he talks to you nonstop for 13 and a half months straight without breathing. I'm Alanui. I'm only a conjurer, but Orantur is a full magician. Isn't he wonderful? Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Uh sure. Please, go on. Oh wow, she's maxed out already. Okay. Bye. Good day. What can I interest you in? Seems a You've met the good you got a good That's more that the fed You drive a heart bought a fine transaction. 
You got a great deal to say. That's a good deal. A pleasure to serve you. Can I interest you in some of my wares? That's a good deal. Thank you. Come again. You too. She's all nice. I'm Ditsan, magician, mages guild that is. Don't tell me Felkar has given you the same task he gave Vidkun. Oh, dear, I'd say more, but... Well, Falkar is the ranking member here, and I don't feel comfortable talking about him. I'm sorry. Now tell you oh, what. Oh, yeah? Well, Byron, I guess that's the last time you fucked with her about her Pokemon around, games, huh? Then we'll talk. After we've spoken, you can have the key. Believe me, this is important. You too. Night time. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait some more. I'm gonna keep waiting. And once you've waited, wait again. Hail. I hope I can help. We can talk so long as Falkar is out of earshot. He gave poor Vidkun the same task. You be careful. Here's the key, and something extra. And if you find out anything about what happened to Vidkun, let me know, will you? No, I, I, I won't, because I'll never leave, because you're still talking. I mean, if I can't ever Good start evening. to get around to it if you don't. <clears throat> STFU. Just, just saying. Just... Just right, huh? Okay. I think I can just How carry the delightful. Room. Well, how delightful. Oh, isn't that great? Good to see you too. Always go the wrong way coming out of a stupid well. Well, I'm afraid some things have happened while you've been gone, associate. I'll admit it's my doing. I couldn't leave well enough alone. And after you'd left to go after that ring, well. I'm just so tired of the way we've all been treated by Falkar. I was worried about you and angry about Vidkund, so I confronted Falkar directly. Is he this was like a lizard thing? When or what? I told him I'd help you. And then when I threatened to report him to the Council of Magus, I thought he was going to kill me. He flew into a rage. I didn't even understand some of his ranting, but he said that our days are numbered, and then he stormed out. I don't know if he ever wrote your recommendation. You should check his... God damn! Long-winded lizard. I hope they gave that voice actress like some extra six, seven hundred thousand dollars after this game is over. Because they worked her to death.
I'll take three gold pieces at a time. I'm not ashamed. What's this? Black soul gems? Black soul gems. Oh dear, gems. this is worse than I'd expected. All right, I'll just take these from you. I'll need them for my report to the council. Now, you didn't find any sort of recommendation? In light of the circumstances, I believe they'll find it more than adequate. Good day. Good, good day, night, day, night, day, is what it took to <clears throat> listen to you. Yeah. Okay, if I'd have left in daytime, it'd be the middle of the night. But I leave in the middle of the night, and it's still the middle of the night. So eight hours pass to fuck you over, but if you're already fucked over and can't, can't talk to any merchants, then time doesn't move at all. Right? So if it's two in the afternoon, it's midnight when you get there. But the exact same distance traveled, if it's already 10 o'clock, then it's still midnight when you get there. So I travel eight times faster at night to make sure I can't visit any merchants? Is that, is that how the, that works? Just curious. Hmm. I'm Bernardo. Make it quick. You're pathetic. That's just stupid. Goodness, what can I say? I can't argue with that. You, you, th goodness, what can I say? You, win you, th really not. You're a big fat liar. You've got a. That's what a wonderful compliment. You're a big fat. Don't. You've got. Sorry. Goodness, what can I say? That works for me. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. You got a great deal there. Another satisfied customer. I can show you some new things. Train for. Let's get to train. Let's see if I'm willing to teach gold. You. I can show you. Some. Pay attention, and you can sure. learn. Sure. You too. Works for me. I say, 250, 300 gold. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Well. Free hammer time. Y'all remember that song? Even if you're too young for it, you still remember that song, Hammer Time? You gotta sing that to yourself when you're in here looking for the pair of hammers for free.
are seriously cheap early in the game. Three repair hammers, man, I'll scour the whole city for, for three repair hammers and a gold piece or two here or there. Should we go to the hard one right now? I'm just going to do them in kind of a circle. That's how I'm going to do them. It's going to be Leia win first instead of last. I mean, what difference does it really make, you know? joke? Why do Khajiit lick their butts? To get the taste of their cooking out of their mouths. Oh, best joke ever, man. Probably. What time is it? Yeah, it's at 4 o'clock in the morning here. I don't know what time it is there, but... You know, we might call it a day and just start from here tomorrow. That's actually not a bad idea. That's actually not a bad idea. Greater soldier, sweet. One of these has skooma in it, I think. One of these. One of these. This one back here. There it is. It's the Khajiit guy who collects the crystals. That's his skooma stash. <laughs> I'm serious. I thought that was awesome. I'm like, Oh shit. Nice to have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. I appreciate your business. Actually, you know what? Have a look so around. Got to do for me. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I let that go too cheaply. Bought that for a song. A pleasure to serve you. May all your travels be safe. Yeah, this dude right here. So That's his skooma stash. You seek wisdom from me? Words are with and seek Agatha, child. 
We'll find a guy. Got some loot out of this library here. There's some books that are worth like a hundred gold a piece in the uh I could take a whole bunch of these right now, but I don't feel like going to find a secondary merchant to sell them to, so. Okay. What is it, associate? What is it, associate? Hello there. Yes? Is there something I can help you with, associate? I'm surprised she discussed it with you. She wanted to keep it from the others. Yes, her seer stone is missing. It's the one thing that has kept her visions at bay. And without it, they're nearly crippling. She can't function. We haven't yet spoken to the others, for fear they would be less than accepting of her situation. Perhaps it is time, though. I will continue to tend to Gale. Goodbye. But he's just conveniently yes. sitting in one spot. Well, well. Word is finally spreading, is it? <laughs> this dude with they won't be able to keep up this voice. facade much longer. Yeah, I know all about it. Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? She shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. Years of service to the Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. I know. I get way too fired up over this. Bye. Yes? It's... So Calthar overheard us, did he? But we never said anything about DeGale's father. If there's some sort of connection between the Seer Stone and DeGale's father, I don't know about it. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on Calthar. Goodbye. You seek more from me, child? It is as I have seen. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness. Blood ran blue and dragons flew high. What was my sire's must be mine. Make sure my map markers are updated because sometimes you can get somewhere and find out you needed to just go talk to somebody else to tell them what they already just heard you saying so that you can get the map, map marker to update. That's stupid. All right. Well met. Bugak grow ball. Why is that showing red? Like I can't go in there. What time is it? Must be the time of night, I guess.
All right, guys. You guys uh, have a good one. If I don't see you uh, again later, then no. Have a good rest of your weekend. Well, little is left of it. And I guess I'll see you guys probably this evening. Probably. All right, take it easy.